Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Social Decide. And today we are going to see one more real time ADF interview question and answer. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can archive the file after loading. So, here for example, we are having a source, and that source is the CSV file in the blob storage. So, first we want to load that data from that CSV file to the SQL server. So, after loading the file into the SQL server, we want to archive this file so we are also having another folder on the same blob storage where we will be going to keep that file so how we can do that we'll see in this video so let me quickly go in the browser and here as we can see we are under the input folder so here the file which is the customer details.csv file and it is having total four columns with the employee name address department name and gender Inside the SQL server, we are having the table which is the customer info along with all these details. So we want to load the data from this file to the SQL server table first and after that we need to move this file from this input folder to this testing folder. So this is the actual requirement and as I told you this is the archival of the file. So the file should not be there inside the input folder. So this file will be moved from here to there. How we can achieve this? So go to on the Azure Data Factory. Here first let me try to create a new pipeline. And in this pipeline, first we are required to use the copy data activity. So this will be going to load the data into the SQL Server table. So as in the source side, we have to click on this new. Go to the Azure Blob Storage, delimited text file. Here we can select the link service that we have already created. Here we can see the file path. So we can browse and we can go under the input folder and inside the input folder we will see the file which is the customer details.csv. Now we can click on OK. First row as header, click on OK. So we have set up for the source as in delimited text one. So in the sync, we want to load the data into the SQL Server table. So here we have to select the Azure SQL database as a destination. Click on continue. Link service as we have already created the link service. And here we need to select the table. So which is the customer info table. Click on OK. So now it will be going to load the data into the destination table. Second, as I told you, we have to also move the file from this input folder to the testing folder so first i want to copy this file from here input folder to the testing folder so for that let me try to use one more copy data activity and this copy the file from input folder to testing folder here we have already created the data set so we can use that that is the delimited text one so in the sync we have to create a new data set and this is pointing to azure blob storage delimited text and here we can select the link service and we can browse the path where we want to keep the file so we want to keep the file under the testing folder click on continue first row as header so we can keep that and click on ok so these two copy data activity will be going to copy the data into the sql server table first and second copy the file to the testing folder now the next thing that we need to delete the file which is available at the source so we have to use the delete activity and need to connect with the copy data one as well as with the copy data two so once these two activities will be completed then delete activity will be executed so in the delete activity simply we want to delete the file which is available at the input folder so in the logging setting we don't want to enable the logging so this is the process that we have to follow let me try to execute and verify so here the copy data activity one will be executed so data will be inserted into the sql table copy data two will be executed so file will be copy from input folder to archive folder that is the testing one so here we have to wait until this will not be executed. 
so as we can see copy data 1 and 2 both are executed with success so go to the sql server and here let me try to refresh the table so here we will see the data as we can see similarly we can go inside the testing folder so inside the testing folder we will see the file that we can see customer details .csv file now here we can go inside the input folder so we should not see the customer details .csv file so that is gone from here so if we want to move the file then we have to follow this process so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video